Welcome back. Well, we met our Low Country Live celebrity analyst last week, and she's back again for all the latest buzz surrounding ABC's hit reality show, The Bachelorette. And joining us now is Penelope Jean. Good to see you, Penelope. Good to see you guys as well. Now the action's heating up on The Bachelorette. It is. It's getting juicy. <laughs> and first off, let's get right to it. Our hometown contestant, yes. Roberto. He's Roberto. from Charleston. Mm -hmm. He got the one-on-one -on -one date last night. What did you think of him? I think he's doing very well. Um, we can tell that Ali really likes him, and she said that he's, you know, strong and protects her. Her and well, he must really <laughs> like her too if he's going to go. walk the tightrope. Absolutely. <laughs> actually, gosh. she she mentioned she wondered if um, he actually thought that she wasn't maybe even good enough for him is what she mentioned. So I can tell that wow. she wow. she really likes him. Roberto's a front runner. Now the deal is if you get to go on a one on one date, either you're in or you're out, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. You get a rose or you go home on the spot. Wow. So luckily, our hometown boy Roberto got a rose, and he will. Live for another week. Yeah, <laughs> there. Right there. Now the group date this week, mm -hmm. they went and did a music video with the Bare Naked Ladies. Exactly, and <laughs> there was cool. a lot of drama. I think that um, they really set it up for that. There was a lot of kissing scenes. They had to act um, to put together this music video. So yeah. a lot of um, Ali was um, was kissing a lot of the guys and created drama with the other ones and some jealousy. So there was kissing, there was up. slapping, it was scripted. And yes, and then, then there was the weatherman, oh, Dave. Come on. And <laughs> Can we just leave that part out? For weathermen everywhere, come on, Dave. <laughs> hey, I'll stick up for the meteorological abilities. His character, I can't, I can't vouch for that. <laughs> But he, he, he's kind of he a shed a few tears. He was, <laughs> he was oh, there he really goes. Oh. there he is. He was really nervous to kiss her, and there he, he was crying. And he's gone. Forget it. You lose. And she felt bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for him too. A one hundred percent chance of precipitation on that date. <laughs> wow. Now, what are some of the other highlights that came out of the uh, making of the music video last night? Well, let's see. Um, Frank, who had the first one on one date the week before, he got slapped nine times. So we have to give him nice. give him some kudos for taking that nine takes of getting slapped wow. across the face. So he's a trooper. Um, Kirk, they had a kissing scene and continued to kiss long after they wow, um, called the old, cut. The old nice. out so session. we think maybe she likes she likes Kirk as well. So huh. we'll see. I think Chris from Cape Cod is also doing well a front runner and We'll just have to see how it unfolds. But it really sounds mm -hmm. like Roberto has the leg up on everyone. Well, I think so. He's my favorite so far, and uh, I think it might have something to do with he's from Charleston. So um, well, let's root for, for Roberto. Exactly. And we actually have Ella Nolan. She was a contestant from last season's Bachelor. She's on the phone. She's joining us now. Good morning, Ella. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Good morning. So first off, just give us an update. What have you been up to since the show? Um, well, just... Um I speak a couple of, uh, I've spoken a couple times at um, local children abuse um, centers, and I'm also the, uh, the spokesperson for Make It Beautiful, which is a charitable organization out of Nashville that either deals with um, women that have been in a domestic violence situation or families um, that have just something tragic has happened in their life and it's kind of knocked them off course and it helps them get refocused and get back to where they need to be. So. Now, Ella, I'm pretty busy. Ella, why why is this charity so near and dear to your heart? Um, well, you know, I I just um, I have a passion for it because uh, whenever I was three years old, my, my mom was actually murdered um, by my stepfather. That um, had been you know she'd been in a domestic violence situation, and she was trying to get out of it, doing everything that she could, and it just turned um, tragic, and uh, you know. Unlucky for her and, and me and my little sister, um, you know, she didn't make it, and she was also pregnant with my little brother. So mm. they didn't make it, and so now it's just given me a voice to, you know, ABC's The Bachelor has given me a voice um, to kind of step up and and tell everyone my story and see, you know, places that I can help or anything that I can do to, to change that in someone else's life. And you really have stepped up. I mean, you have a full-time job, you're a mom, and you run this charity. How do you find all the hours in the day? <laughs> you know, it's just, um, it's, it's God just works in my life um, incredibly, and uh, He just, He supplies me with everything that I need. It's, um, it's. So, have you been watching this season of The Bachelorette? I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> Do you have any favorites so far? You know, I'm still trying to fill the guys out. Um, there's a couple that I think are, are really, really good guys that haven't really had a chance to step up yet. Um, 
and I think that whenever they do, it'll probably um, turn her, her turn her around a little bit. Um, you know, the what's the guy that uh, has the broken foot that limped to her to her house? I forgot his name. What's his name? Do you remember his name, Penelope? The one who's on crutches? Justin. Justin. Justin's getting Justin. a little bit of a bad boy image already. <laughs> you know, I think that he is the Vienna of our season. And <laughs> I think that, I mean, honestly, I think that with him doing things that's kind of out of the box, it's getting her attention. So I think that he's going to go pretty far. Um, of course, there's always the one that, you know, brings more drama and that kind of thing that the other people, you know, are not that big of friends with and they have, you know, things to tell her about. But, um, Ella, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Jonathan, the weatherman? <laughs> it's a hot topic here this morning. <laughs> he was sweet. Bless sweet. his little heart. Um, <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, I think that his shyness, uh, him just being timid, just kind of, um, it was awkward. I think it was. Just, <laughs> <laughs> You're very kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> Look at that body language. She's not into him kind of, now. Right. It's just kind of awkward to kiss someone the very first time. Then it's not there, you know, and it's just better to go ahead and let that person go because that's just, you're just wasting your time and their time. So I, mean, I think that she did the right thing by letting him go. Yeah, definitely. Well, Ella, thanks for joining us today and best of luck in all your endeavors. Well, thank thank you, you so much. Say hi to Ethan. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, and remember to watch Low Country Live every Tuesday morning during this season of The Bachelorette. Penelope will be here recapping Monday night's shows with us. So if you have any questions, you can You can definitely email those us to us at mm -hmm. lowcountrylive at abcnews4.com or one of the easiest ways to contact us is on our Facebook page. You can put your thoughts right on there and see what everybody else is thinking. And we too. can Absolutely. ask your questions next yeah. week. We can ask Penelope next Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, good stuff, Penelope. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to Thanks see what next week again. brings us. Next Hopefully Tuesday. no more tears. Oh, <laughs> there will I be think there's more tears. <laughs> I think we have more coming. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Well, stay with us because we're about to teach you a thing or two about your car. That's its import services here next. Good.